Hey everyone, welcome to Hawks Trading. I hope you're having a great day. Today we are doing question 17 from chapter 3D. So that is your circular function chapter. So this question is quite difficult, especially part A, but that's why I've made a tutorial video for it, okay? So to help you guys do this question and move on to do other questions and hopefully finish, uh, start doing practice exams as early as possible. Let's get into the question. Question 17. Two tangents are drawn from a point so that the area of the shaded region is equal to the area of the remaining region of the circle. What that means is this white area right there, the unshaded area is equal to this shaded area right here, the blue area. That's it. And then part A, show that theta satisfies the equation tan theta equals to pi minus theta. Now first of all, what, what is theta? So we know the theta is this, but that's 2 theta. Theta by itself means half of that. But where do we get theta? So like, well, how would we label theta? Okay, so that's quite important. So I'll just draw a line here first. We're going to use circle geometry to help us find what theta is. Right, so circle geometry, if you were to connect the center to the point of intersection of your two tangents, then it actually bisects, okay? So this would be theta, and that would be theta as well. It bisects the angle, okay? And that's pretty much it. That's what theta is. Let's get into the question, part A, right? So part A, we need to show that theta satisfies this equation. Normally, when it's a show question, you go left-hand side and you make it equal to right-hand side or vice versa. But in this case, we can't do that because, well, I mean, what can you do with tan theta? You can't do anything. You can't also do anything with pi minus theta. So it can't be left-hand side equals right-hand side. What you can do, though, is use this piece of information they told us, that area 1 is equals to area two, right? If you actually find the area for both of them in terms of tan theta, in terms of theta, in terms of pi, then you will get an equation such as this, okay? So let's get into this uh, part A. A1, so finding area, area, the white area. How would you find the white area? So using circle geometry once again, this is finding the area of a segment and the area of a segment is defined as this formula. You have an angle, I'll call it theta, it's not this theta, okay? I'm just applying the formula. It's theta over 2 pi times by pi r squared. So pi r squared is the area of a circle. Theta over 2 pi is your section. So it's like saying, okay, if I have a pizza and I, my um, pizza is split into four, or I'm, I want to cut my pizza into four, right? And I want to find this area. Well, essentially, it's a quarter of the area of the pizza, right? And that's it, so quarter of area of the pizza. We're doing the same thing here. Area of a segment is just a fraction, a portion, a portion of your pizza, of your circle. So that's pi r squared, right? So what is theta? Theta is this angle right there because we want to find the area of the unshaded area. So in this case, that would be two pi minus two theta. This angle is two theta, so therefore the remaining has to be two pi minus two theta since the entire angle of a circle should be 360, so that's 2 pi, right? We times it by pi r square, and then we simplify it as much as we can. So what happens is the two cancels out, and you are left with pi minus theta over pi times pi r square. We keep simplifying, and what you have left is pi minus theta times by r square, okay? So that's area one. Let's look into area two. What is area two? That is this blue area. So if you were to look at it in a different perspective, you can see this blue area as two similar triangles or two same triangles, okay? Right, I'll draw the triangle right here because we are going to need it. So that's O, that is A. I'm gonna draw only half of it. So one section, that is X. And we know this is 90 degrees, this is theta, and we can label this as R because that's the radius, okay? It's also important you have r in your part of your equation because if you have a look at a1, there is r here. a2 should also have r, okay? So that you can maybe cut it out or simplify it out later on. Let's go find area 2. How would you find the area of a triangle? Very simple, that is half times base times height. Now, what is base? Base is r. And what is height? Another way of writing height, which is ax right here, is Okay, so have a look, this is important. Tan theta equals to opposite over adjacent. Opposite is h, adjacent is r. If you want to find h, it is r times tan theta. The reason why we want h in terms of theta, in terms of r, 
is if you look on the left hand side to A1, there is no height at all, okay? So you shouldn't have height over here. And that's why we did this, okay? So we replace height with R tan theta. And what you end up with is half R squared tan theta. Now, because we have two of these triangles, you multiply it by two and you end up with R squared tan theta, okay? Times it by two. And what you have left is pi minus theta, R squared equals to R squared tan theta. So area one equals area two. You can simplify the R squared out. And what you have left is pi minus theta equals to tan theta. There we go. That is part A, okay? Hopefully you guys understand um, what went through here. It shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as you can, as long as you know the areas formulas for your triangle and your segment, right? And then part B, very simple, okay? It just says solve for theta. So you chuck this inside your CAS calculator and then your answer should be just solve for it. 1.113 radians, I believe, okay? And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next lesson.